All right, y'all, so we're reacting today to a guy getting shot down um, outside of his studio by some people. Uh, we're gonna look into it. Let's get it, let's go. Nana Opong. In the early hours of June the 13th of 2020, English music mogul Robert Powell was gunned down in a drive-by shooting as he left a party in Royden, Essex, 50-year-old. Powell was at the time the manager of up-and-coming UK rapper Dutch Avelli. He was shot 15 times in front of his two adult sons and succumbed to his wounds in a hospital the following day. According to Essex police, two female bystanders were caught in the crossfire and were treated for non-fatal injuries. By analyzing cell phone data and CCTV footage of the vehicles involved in the shooting, investigators determined that Korea criminal Nana Opong was the attack's mastermind. He'd coordinated the assassination by deploying another man, Isra Shah, as a spotter. Shah was recorded circling the block several times in a Toyota Prius, waiting for Powell to emerge so that he could signal Opong, who was in a Ford Cougar, to attack. Opong was deeply involved in drug trafficking and had been accused of orchestrating assassinations in the past. 27-year-old Eugene Brown and Patrick Ford, aged 36, were killed at Opong's 30th birthday party at the Sugar Lounge in Forest Gate in 2010. Opong walked free after two juries at the Old Bailey failed to decide whether he was involved in the murders. In May of 2014, Ashley Latty was knifed to death at a private party in East London. Apong's gang was reported to have attacked him with venomous hate-fueled force. Apong once again avoided a murder sentence as he was convicted of grievous bodily harm for his role in the incident. He was jailed for four years in 2015. After Powell's murder, Apong fled England, becoming one of the country's most wanted criminals. In September of 2022, he was found hiding in the back of a truck heading to Morocco. He was extradited back to the UK. Shah had managed to flee to Spain in the wake of the assassination, but he too was tracked down, arrested, and extradited in March of 2023. Both men maintained their innocence but were convicted of murder and possession of a weapon with intent to endanger life. They were jailed for life with a pong, given a minimum of 38 years behind bars, and Shah a minimum of 26. Apong was also given separate prison sentences for possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life, conspiracy to supply cocaine, wounding with intent to cause grievous bodily harm, and possession of a prohibited weapon. It was determined that Shah had been brought into the Powell murder plot only a few hours before it was carried out, and the sentencing judge proposed that he was merely a useful idiot. The assessment was in stark contrast to that which the judge had for Opong, whom he described as the mastermind and an extraordinarily dangerous man with access to a frightening array of firearms. Gun down, right? Got shot 15 times in front of his kids, bro. No matter what the age, bro, that's your kids and you got shot down in front of them. Not to mention that they fled on the run and they finally got caught up with and they both serving a combination of 64 years in to jail i mean in jail to life 64 to life in jail combined combined sentences but damn that dude got shot 15 times he died in front of his kids bro and he was a manager of, 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 of um, i guess other musicians under his camp and they used a decoy a guy that so they hardly knew just to be the, the, the crash out dummy both these guys that killed them was under the age of 50. the guy that died was 50 but he had two kids he died in front of but the other guy they died the two guys that got caught up was under the age of 50. all these guys are not old at all bro, but yet they're giving up their lives for stupid shit and that's the whole gist of it. They're giving up their lives for not for irrational decisions. It is not. <sighs> that's tough. I can only imagine. You know what I'm saying? You see a family member die in front of your eyes, bro. You're having a good time at the club, and next minute you see your, your, your mom's or your dad just filled up with holes, leaking blood, knowing they're finna come back. 
happen that fast. Bro, that's tough, man. But it is what it is. I said they also said something about uh so they was on a run for they was on a run for for a minute too once they got away, but they was able to get caught. But the thing is is that <clears throat> these guys and these gangs don't care about anybody in the family because they don't give a fuck who you're in front of. He was out there with his family and they shot him dead to death. He's out there with his family, bro. His fam, his kids, mom, dad, bro, everybody, the whole nine, everybody seen him die right there. And it's all, most of the shit's all over vengeance, drugs, sex, money. If y'all like that video, man, go ahead and give it a like, bro. If you really fuck the video, go ahead and give it a share. Subscribe if you subscribe. That boy be safe. All right, babe.